live from the sewers, this is the Turtle Power Podcast. This is your audio source for all the news, reviews, and insight into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now join your hosts, Brian, Alex, and Darby. Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Excellent! Now it's time for the Turtle Power Podcast. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that was really loud. (laughs) Uh, That's that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with episode 29 of the Turtle Power Podcast. Uh, Has it been that many already? I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> you did kind of miss the last one, but I because I did that one solo. Oh no, Ryan! I thought we learned after the pilot episode for you to never <laughs> ever do that again. <laughs> yeah, no, I've gotten a lot better. I uh, did the interview with uh, Andrew Farrago, uh, the author of the uh, actually released today. Uh, out in California, out in San Francisco, he's of course the author of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Ultimate Visual History, and uh, had a great interview with him. And uh, congratulations to him and uh, and everybody that participated in that great book. So uh, my copy is on the way from Amazon. They actually released a, I think a week early from Amazon. So looking forward to checking that out in person what's it matter if they release it a week early from amazon if you still get it after it was released no you gotta have that amazon prime two day free shipping it it came out today but yet you still don't have it so what's it matter if it came out early for amazon if you still don't have it is the point it came out only if you were at the release party oh yeah still now I will say though, there were some preview copies that made it out to different you know news sites or whatever, and you know we didn't get one. <sighs> uh, see, it's apparently just doing a turtle podcast for over two years. Just as you know, we got to do a lot more. Got to be contributing more. Maybe if we did more episodes and not just once a month for two and a half well, hours at a hey, time. Hey, you know what? After after this weekend, <laughs> let's just say uh, our, our name is out there. And okay. uh, what happened this weekend? Explain this to me. Okay. You'll have to explain this to me. Go. In celebration of the Turtles' 30th birthday, of course, May 5th. It was my 30th, too. Yeah, it was. No, no one cares. <laughs> um, I should say really quick. Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day to everybody, all the all the fathers out there. All the fathers, yes, yes. yes. Who knows, all the baby Brian? One of us could be a father and not. Well, I know, <laughs> I know you're not. Me, I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy Father's Day to your dad and to my dad as well. Yeah, your dad is still the. You know, people always talk about how Chuck Norris looks good for his age. Your dad puts Chuck Norris to shame. I gotta, I gotta go ahead and say that. <laughs> I, I'm just glad I got good genes. So. Well, your dad has good genes. Yes. I mean, he does. So. I don't, I hope don't, he doesn't down that to me. skip a generation? I think that skips a generation. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so this weekend, um, uh, I hope. You listened to that last episode already, to episode 28. I did give a little preview as to what was going on this weekend. Uh, Specifically yesterday, Friday. Um, 
Now, I've mentioned it on the show before. Here in Orlando, where I live, where Darby used to live. In fact, where we used to live together. Yep. Uh, there's a... And it, funny enough, it's like <laughs> two miles from where we lived. Um, the Nick Nickelodeon Suites Resort. All right? It's here. We've talked about it. Of course, the Nick Turtles have made their way into the resort. That's not news. What happened this weekend, though, was an event that, gosh, I really wish more people knew about this. Well, you know what? I mean, you were talking about how the the Turtles being there isn't news. Apparently, this wasn't either because they never really announced it. You just kind of stumbled across it. I did. And I'm really happy that I did. Okay, so uh, this was the Turtles Retro Weekend, uh, June 13th through 15th, uh, here in Orlando. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I guess let's just talk about where, where like, I'll just kind of go in chronological order, talk about everything that I got to do. So, uh, well, first of all, yeah, like, like Darby mentioned, I just kind of found it on the website, contacted them, said, hey, we're interested in covering this event. Um, is there anything going on that we can participate in? Boom, we got our media credentials. Uh, you know, they, they took really good care of us. Um, and by I, I've got we, some thank they, yous at the you end. mean you. Well, yeah, me. <laughs> I, Alex, actually, he's pretty bummed out that he wasn't able to go either. Um, he had a bunch of family stuff going on this weekend. That's that guy with a giant cock for a name, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, well, it's Dick. It's, yeah, you Same said thing. it wrong. But, yeah, I know what you meant. Um, so, I check in Thursday evening. Me and the wife. Me and the wifey. Um, let's, let's just talk about the hotel first. Um, the resort layout, um, I, I would... If you've been to Disney to Disney World here, that's the closest thing I can compare it to. It's like something in between a value resort and a moderate resort. If you actually if you've been to Art of Animation, that's what they're aiming for. Is it's got the, you know, the really over the top, um, colorful everything, you know, there's characters everywhere. Um, but the rooms are suites. So there's a like multiple bedrooms. Um, we actually stayed <laughs> in the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants suite. Uh, very nice. <laughs> um, uh, they so they have this this mall as they call the mall, and uh, it's it's where all the shopping and the the restaurants are uh, on property. Um, they have what it's called their their Nicktoons Cafe. That's their main restaurant. It actually, um, Thursday night when we were there, it actually transforms into Antonio's Pizzeria uh, you know, from Nick Turtles. Um, I, I think it's on only certain on select evenings, but uh, it's essentially it's character dining. Um, again, if you've been to Disney, uh, you know what character dining is. You know, the, the turtles will come over to your table while you're eating, foot soldiers and everything. Uh, they've also got a Subway, a Starbucks. Uh, they've actually got an Antonio's Pizzeria counter service place in there, so you can just go up and get your Antonio's, you know, by the slice or whatever. They've got a bar, uh, a buffet, a bar. Um, as far, that's and that's like a little food court area essentially. So uh, beyond that, they've got a gift shop, which I will say has got some very reasonable prices. Um, t-shirts, uh, adult Nick Turtles t-shirts, I should say. Um, messenger bag. They have this gray messenger bag that will essentially. It, it it's got it's got the Nick Turtles on the outside. It's got the uh, it's got just the the foreheads. Uh, it's gray, so there's not a whole lot to it. But there is the price point. It's like fourteen dollars, thirteen dollars oh, even. For this, for this um, messenger bag. Okay. Really good deal. Really good deal. Uh, so, 
Um, the, even the t-shirts there. It's very good deals. So, uh, the one thing I will say is that the action figures were not so much of a good deal. <laughs> they were like twice as much. But, um, well, yeah, you got can buy them for like eight bucks theater. at Target. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, they have a 4D movie theater. They've got uh, what? I think Still it's called waiting Studio for Nick. a Karai toy, by the way. I know. Still waiting for that. Well, I, you know, we got some some contacts over at Nick now, so. Yeah, we start get, pumping get them. The word well, in. yeah, just just start hitting them up. Like, dude, Darby wants a Karai toy. Like, why haven't you? You you've literally released toys with creatures that have been in one episode. Where's the Karai toy? Well, it is funny because you see all of the mutants there and the, and all the mutants that don't exist anymore <laughs> like dog pound like kirby right. bat um what was the other one we saw oh well even mutagen man is totally different now right um gosh there was another one i can't remember anyway uh they have one other stage there it's called studio nick and that's it. It's pretty cool. They actually shoot like little episodes of Double Dare in there. Nice. So Double Dare is still alive. Um, so after walking around, um, the the wife and I just kind of hung out in our room. Uh, they they had a nice little press package for us. Um, you know, the press releases, uh, different. I mean, we got lots of swag. <laughs> We got uh, I get a, a mask, uh, a wristband. Um, a, we got a Nick Turtle or well a Playmates um, action figure. Got a Raph, actually, <laughs> which I already have. Oh, so uh, probably be giving that away here on this on the show. <laughs> um, and then so yeah, we just kind of hung out there. Oh, they gave us some wine and cheese. It was nice. No um, pizza. No pizza. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just kind of hung out that night and watched some, uh, the 87 turtles, you know, getting ready for the next day and, uh, just hung out in the room for that night. Uh, Friday morning comes and the wife has to go off and, and, and make some money because <laughs> I was not making any money that day. Uh, but, uh, headed down to the mall again. First, uh, first people I see down there. You want to take a guess? Down where? Down in the mall. Down in the mall. First person I see Friday morning. Rob Paulson. Nope. Think a fan. Oh, uh, uh, Michelle Ivy. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, t- to my, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really mean anything, but I was actually down there first, and she was really surprised. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so she came down it, and her that, sister. That is bragging rights right there. So there you go. Beat her to it. <laughs> so Michelle came down. Her sister was there. They drove all the way down from Michigan, um, just for this event. So, um, so yeah, we're we're sitting there. Eventually, we got our our media credentials. Um. Amazing staff there at the Nickelodeon Suites Resort. They took really good care of us. You know, I'll say it over and over because they really did. Um, after we got our mes- our media credentials, we went inside the uh, Nicktoons Cafe for breakfast. It's actually a breakfast buffet with SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> so I got a lot of SpongeBob. <laughs> Oi. Yeah. Uh, well, they they do. It's again. It's it's character dining. It's they they they're in there. They're doing a the whole little, you know, song and dance routine. Um, I I you know they were trying hard. <laughs> they were really into it. All the uh, the handlers and everything. They're all dancing and everything. So they were you know it. If you were there for SpongeBob, you were gonna be satisfied. Gotcha. Um, but. So we're sitting there, we're, we're finishing up breakfast, and there's this big wall that's just full of glass, and there's it outside the glass you can see the walkway that approaches the mall, and we're sitting there, 
and sure enough, here come the Nick Turtles just walking by. And you should, like, the reaction inside this place, it it went silent. And then, like, you could feel the tension, like, rise. You're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Ninja Turtles. The Ninja Turtles. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, would, what, what would you say the average age of the people in the room were? <laughs> well, it was a mix. It was families, you know, even for the press event, there was, there was, there was, you know, people our age, there was people that are older than us, but then they, a lot of them brought their kids to the media event. Nice. So it, it was wanna, just, just lots of families. I just want to make sure that there's a lot of future fans there. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like future Absolutely. kids. And stuff like yeah. Lots of kids. There were tons of kids. <laughs> All right. When we got there, I will say when we got there on Thursday, uh, we our hotel room was right next to the the giant pool that they have. It was bananas crazy. Gotcha. <laughs> there were just kids everywhere. Um, so yeah, the 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 tension was palpable in the room. Okay. So we leave. Uh, we head over to Studio Nick. Um, so we're out in the lobby. And there's some foot soldiers out there. They're taking photos with everybody. I did a selfie with one of them. And then the other one came up and photobombed us. Uh, nice. Said goodbye. Did a little fist bump. And yes, we both did make it explode. Good job. <laughs> now, uh, we walk were in. The, were, were the foot soldiers wearing masks? Yes. The, okay. It was the Nick Turtles foot soldiers. This is always something I wonder, you know, because we grew up going to Disney. Do you think the people in the costumes when they're wearing masks are still smiling when their picture is being taken? That's a good question. Just because it's out of habit of having a camera pointed at them? That's a good question. Yes, it is. That's why I asked it. Um, <laughs> I'll have to check. I, I know a couple of people that are... Uh, Who are friends with the characters. Got it. There. So... Uh, so we walk in, and there's a stage, and over in the corner are the Nick Turtles uh, and April, and they're over there. They're taking photos with people. You know, as we walk in, all the press people, are they're taking photos over there. But on the stage, there they are. Rob Paulson, Townsend Coleman, Cam Clark, Barry Gordon, all of them right there. The Turtles. Wow. Nice. So... <laughs> so um the plan is to you know like i said take photos with the nick turtles and then go up on stage to take photos with the actors mm -hmm. of course they spot michelle right for the actor well they spot from they spot michelle they come over and talk to her mm -hmm. and then they go back up the, further up on stage and they're chit chatting and we're still in line a few minutes later i'm still in line and just kind of staring at them <laughs> Uh, and then all of a sudden Rob looks straight at me and just yells out that's what I'm talking about he grabs the other guys and they just walk right over to me now a few minutes later I woke up <laughs> they were talking to me I think I said something about stealing someone's kids like hosting a podcast and and talking to James Arnold Taylor the weekend prior, I'm not sure what else came out of my mouth. <laughs> so wait, what uh, did he mean that that's what he was talking about? What was he talking about? I what it was something like how our age, like we're in the wheelhouse, we are the fans that grew up with them, and now we are the age to where we still like them and then you know we're the age of that we have kids or could have kids right and they're watching nick turtles so um uh, yeah like i said i <laughs> afterwards after i woke up i i kind of like was just like wow did that just happen <laughs> Right. Um, 
eventually got up to the Nick Turtles in April, got some sweet photos. I did a chest bump with Wrath. Uh, they have very hard shells, I will say that. Um, <laughs> uh, then it's time to go up and meet the actors again. <laughs> I was a bit more composed this time. Um, actually, my wife, uh, Jess, actually gave me a really, a really good suggestion um, she said, uh, so when I went up to him, I said, uh, yeah, you know, my, my wife was here. She was staying last night and she said, uh, if I'm, if I'm getting nervous just to think of you guys as some like really cool uncles, <laughs> I told that to them and they thought that was hilarious and they go, well, it's a good thing. He didn't say you're really cool grandpas. So, <laughs> well, we are that age. <laughs> so, um, Lots of joking, you know, we did some photos, <laughs> they were, Rob was like, good God, you're so tall, so, <laughs> they were like, uh, Townsend was like, so what are we going to do for the photo, he's like, should we all jump in the air, and Rob's like, man, if he jumps in the air, he's going to hit his head on the ceiling, so, <laughs> um, How tall is Rob, is he taller than me, like everybody uh, in the world, is, except for Alex, they, you know, you're definitely taller than Barry Gordon. <laughs> um, maybe you're about the same height. Uh, you're the same height as Townsend Coleman. Cam Clark and Rob Paulson are a little taller. Okay. That's what I'm going to guess. Tall. All right. Um, so I took some awesome photos. Um, we actually got some printed and I've got some digitally. Uh, so we'll put all those up in the show notes and on Twitter. Uh, I actually told them the story about meeting Mark Hamill and I tried to squat down for, <laughs> for him and how he told me to, what are you doing? Stand up straight. Make me look like the dwarf that I am. So <laughs> nice. told them because of Mark course, Hamill. how tall is Mark Hamill? Dude, yeah. aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Well, it's so not a, it's not a joke. For a stormtrooper too. What's your point? Exactly. <laughs> um, you're, you're, Probably taller than Mark Hamill. Woo! Yeah. Take that, Luke. <laughs> uh, so from there, we sat down. We had an awesome Q and A with the voice actors. Uh, an introduction of the voice actors by their uh, their handler. His name was Jeff. Um, and you know what? Let's let's actually just go to the interview. Tony, how are you guys today? Good. Good. All right, you've been quiet for Tony, but you need to get loud because the turtles are coming. <laughs> I can see a lot of kids, right, kids? Now is your chance. Scream! Come on, you can do better, kids. Where's the kids? I see you over here. Scream! That's about an hour at Nickelodeon. I want to hear yelling. All right, I'll be up here. I'll be helping with questions. Jesse will be in the audience. We'll be going back and forth. So. Raise your hand, she'll come over to you, whatever's easiest. Be patient, we'll get as many of you as we can. Um, I know you're not here for me, so I'll bring up the turtles. Let's see, let's go, let's go in, in, in no, no specific order. Let's bring up the smart guy first of the turtles. You remember Donatello, right? Barry yeah. Gordon, folks. Next up, let's see, uh, how about the wise Kraken Raphael, Rob Paulson? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby! Yeah. And then every, everybody's fun-loving, pizza-loving, noon-chuck-twirling Michelangelo, Tom <laughs> And last but not least, the leader of the group, Leonardo, Cam Clark. And in fourth place, yeah. and Cameron Clark is here, yeah. folks. All right. All right, so we'll start off with an obvious question, guys. How did the Ninja Turtles happen? Explain how you came together in the process of getting the original roles. We auditioned. Uh, <laughs> next question. We, uh, yeah. we, you know, you, you get you know, auditions, and my agent called up and said, I've got an audition for you for a 
possible cartoon series called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I said, you know, is that all you have to do with your day is call me and make jokes? So he said, no, really, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I said, okay. And I went down thinking this was the most insane audition I'd ever been on. And uh, read a few pages and loved it. Just loved it. It was just funny from the very, very beginning. And, uh, and then we, we auditioned, I think, for all different parts. I mean, we auditioned for, most of us auditioned for all four. Um, and then they just put us together. So how they put us together, I don't know the, the story about that, but they put us together. They saw me as Donatello, and, and uh, all the rest of the guys can tell their stories. Yeah, I, I, I'm reflecting on what Barry said, it's the same thing. If, if uh, Townsend and I actually were working on animated version of Fraggle Rock for Woo! NBC. Um, <laughs> where the hell were you when the show was being canceled? <laughs> um, no, it was, uh, it was uh, uh, and I, I'm not a big comic book guy, but I was familiar with uh, the comic book a little bit, and uh, man, one thing led to another, and like Barry said, we, you know, we audition for stuff all the time, but the answer, we, we not trying to uh, sort of jump the shark a bit, but the the answer to one of the questions is, did you ever have any idea? Now, Thomas and I were just talking about this a minute ago. This is crazy how, how you, you, you audition for something, and if you're lucky, you get to make a living, but have something that has become iconic to the extent that we come back 25 years later, and we get to meet all you guys. It's, it's an amazing experience. So, Mikey would tell you. Yeah. Well, it, it, like Rob said, we were working on Fraggle Rock uh, at the time for NBC. And um, I remember the voice director of Fraggle Rock came into a session we were doing one day and pulled out of his briefcase and said, you guys aren't gonna believe what I'm gonna be directing, uh, casting and directing next. And he pulls out a comic book of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and shows us. <laughs> I mean, I remember us looking at it going, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good luck with that one. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, right? And, uh, yeah, but he brought us into audition, like Barry said, but I, you know, I think we all went for all the parts. Um, yeah, and, uh, who knows why we ended up with what we ended up with. I, I, I don't know. But I remember when we when we started the show, Cam and I, um, they, they knew that Rob was going to be Raphael and Barry was going to be Donatello, but they hadn't decided whether Cam was going to be Michelangelo or Leonardo and same with me until we got to that first session. So we went back and forth uh, between switching us and switching us and switching us. Well, you're not comfortable in orange generally. <laughs> so well, this is the Michelangelo. Yeah. Which shows you how jealous I am. Yeah. He had to pull it out 25 years later. So, I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Everyone wants to just know who you are. Ah, well, I'm Cam and Leonardo, and these guys pretty much said everything. Uh, what can I, yeah, it was just an addition, an addition, or an audition. An additional audition. An additional audition. Everybody say that. An additional, additional audition. An additional audition. An additional audition. <laughs> Yeah, Leonardo's one line is always, we've got to think of something fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I will tell you that uh, when the show started, these three wacky coconuts had all the funny lines. And as the leader, I was the straight man of, of the group. And I'm going like, wait, I, I can say something funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, you just say, we've got to think of something fast. Yeah, but you so. know, because you and Barry got to be uh, Rocksteady oh. and Bebop. Rocksteady? Yeah, Bebop, that's right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did get to do that. <laughs> do you guys want to hear him do the voices? Is that what you're Yeah! Doing? yeah. <laughs> we haven't heard Rob or... Shroud, you tin face geek, get back here and taste cold turtle steel! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta think of something fast! <laughs> 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 
It's a shame he's so shy. Yeah. He's so, so shy. He knows how to work it for All right, so on that note, let's open it up. Jesse, who do yeah. we have? Do we have anybody out there with a question? You guys can raise your hands. I'll come to you. Anybody at all? Don't be shy. Any question you want, guys? Right here in the front. Do you want our room numbers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, hello. Hi. Uh, so I was wondering, uh, what was it like getting back together for the episode you did recently for the new uh, Turtles cartoon? That was cool. That, uh, I think the, uh, we did an episode of the New Ninja Turtles, which many of you have probably seen, which all of us got to talk to our, our new iterations, our new turtles. Uh, Robbie got to talk to himself. I get, I, yeah, I, I am a lottery winner, man, because I'm Donatello in the series now. I, I, so I've got to be 50% of the New Ninja Turtles. Thing. I figure if I live to be 100, I can knock all four of them. But yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing to be able to, uh, to get another ride in the turtle van 25 years later. We did do an episode in which we got to speak to our former selves. And it was kind of cool because Greg Sykes, who is playing Michelangelo now in the, in the new episode, he sees the old turtles walking down the street and he says, why are, why are we such geeks and nerds or something like that? Why are we such nerds? And um, dorks. Dorks, yeah. <laughs> dorks, right? an affectionate term. Because you know the uh, animation was a little more rudimentary back in just after the Civil War. Part <laughs> one. Yeah. Don't use such big words. Sorry. Rudimentary. Sorry. I didn't mean to be rudimentary. Yet. We're so ubiquitous now, too. Uh, <laughs> there's my hundred dollar word. Can you tell the truth though about that episode? No truth. Because it would seem like it was this wonderful reunion that happened, but we came in, we worked for five minutes, and we left separately. So we never did see each other, and except, we... Except that Barry and I did. Oh, that's right. We crossed. We, we, saw, we saw each other at Nick. That's right. That, that morning, yeah. That's right. We did pass, <laughs> pass in the night. But basically, yeah, we came in, we did our lines, because that's how it's done a lot these days. And when we worked, uh, you know, we had chairs and music stands, and we were always together. And that was amazing because it let us fool around and play and but improvise. But we still had indoor plumbing. <laughs> That's right. But it was but it was it was a fun way to work because we really got to do that. And and you guys are doing that, right? Yeah, okay. by and large, the new episodes are. Yeah. Everybody yeah. together. Yeah. So it's it's really cool to work that way. But uh, the, actually, our big reunion was thanks to this guy. Because our big reunion was thanks to this guy. Because Talking to for yeah. the first time in a very long time, we all got together to do Rob's podcast. Yeah. Woo! And that was our big reunion, which is an amazing podcast. Yeah. And, and what was so fun about that is, is we actually, before the podcast, Robbie wanted to just get the four of us together and just talk about what the podcast was going to be like. So we, we met That's at right. a restaurant. That's right. And that was the first time the four of us, I think, had been together in years. <laughs> years. <laughs> it was crazy. It was so great. Yeah, yeah it's really, uh, it really is like kind of like getting the band back together. But now we've had. But now we go to the early bird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we now qualify for the free coffee at Denny's. I'll tell you what, when you have a super bird and free coffee for five bucks, you can check and spend it all at Denny's. I had a um, over my hammy. Yeah, over my hammy. Um, the, uh, the, the thing though, I, thanks to Jeff and Tony, folks like, you know, getting, uh, uh, we have found that their, you know, uh, nostalgia is such a powerful emotion. And today, it's a great example. We have people here who grew up watching the original Turtles, Woo! and their kids love the new Turtles. And um, it's an amazing experience that is incredibly rare, you guys, to do something in, in the entertainment business in which you get to, to see the second wave uh, that is, yeah, arguably as popular as the first one. There was, an, uh, there was an audition uh, about a month or so ago for a game thing, uh, and they were looking for turtles that weren't us and weren't the new new cast. But I read for it for this game, and I read, you know, Leonardo, and I ended up booking it. Yeah. Hey. But, but so I go to the session. I go to the session and do the little thing, and I, I did. I just kind of. Hipped up Leonardo from 
700 years ago. <laughs> and as the session was ending, I said, um, I, I just gotta ask you something. Am I, I'm just real curious. Am I here because I'm Cam Clark? And they went, well, yeah, that's you on the uh, cast list there. And I'm like, no, 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 because I'm the original Leonardo. And they were like, get out! <laughs> <laughs> you were? No, we just thought that you, you, you had the essence of Leonardo. <laughs> you sound just like the original. You sound like the original, dude. Yeah. So that was we pretty fun to get to be Leonardo 25 years later. They didn't know who I was. Yeah. And, uh, Woo! I still got it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. did, was, was the first show you did into Turtles, the first animated show? Because you, you had a huge on camera career. And also, yeah. the quick, remember the quick bunny? Barry was the quick bunny for 30 years. Uh, woo! Woo! That's what that sounds like. Do you think I can close your eyes or something like that? Yeah, right. <laughs> you're really, you're going to make me do the quick bunny? Who wants to hear the quick bunny? Yes, right here. 
Thank you.
<laughs> one that always was barefoot in every session. Man, so yeah. his bare feet were like Nimitz But yeah, <laughs> right. But boy, what a jovial, happy, just wonderful, wonderful guy James was. Yeah, he, uh, he, you know, was uh, one of the things that, that I love about doing this gig, um, especially at this level, when you have something that has become an iconic show. Uh, we all started together, including James, and he had not yet gotten Fresh Prince of Bel Air either. Right. And I remember that uh, after, when he got Fresh Prince, he got very busy with his schedule and was not able to do every episode. But then a few years ago, we were able to be up at, uh, we met at, that Kevin guy, at Kevin Eastman's house. Yeah, the sun. Right. And um, James was there with us up, and Kevin Eastman was one of the creators of the show. And um, James said to me that uh, the Turtles experience was probably one of the two highlights of his career. The other one being Fresh Prince. So that's pretty high praise coming from a guy who's a Shakespearean trained actor. Did not, it wasn't like, oh, I'm doing this goofy turtle show. He was incredibly proud of it. And um, we find that a lot, you know, in um, the, uh, uh, well, like the new show. You know, there are a lot of celebrity talent. Sean Aspen is a movie star. Jason Biggs, right? Son Orange is the new black. And these guys are thrilled to death. They all had to audition for it because they wanted to be on Ninja Turtles. So it's a remarkable. Thanks, Michelle. All right, Jessica. Looks like we have time for one more. We're going to go right here in the middle. Uh, thanks again for coming, guys. Um, there's a lot to appreciate about the Turtles and the Turtles franchise as a whole. Uh, for each of you, what would you say is the most underappreciated aspect of the Turtles? We gotta think a second fast. <laughs> I think I am the most <laughs> underappreciated thing in the Ninja Turtles. Right? No. Woo! <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> I, you know the thing that well, I should say it's underappreciated. It's it's maybe underappreciated by the uh, the general public because uh, they don't get to see the cool things that we get to do as a result of. Um, the, the greatest thing to me about, about getting two shots of this is that I get to be flavor of the month for a while again. Um, and you know, we all, and not just the turtles, the people who do this for a living, you know, you get to call kids on the phone, whether it's their birthdays or the hospitals and all that stuff. And man, I'm telling you what, when, when these kids believe that they're talking to Michelangelo, and when you, uh, you get these letters from child life specialists and parents uh, on, on how for five minutes, you know, their kid has been on dialysis for six months. He gets to forget about that. Um, and I, so I shouldn't say it's not, it's underappreciated. It's not, no, it's just, it's just not, it's not known. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. the most incredible experience of which I get much, much more than the kids do. It, 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 it's very selfish. I love it. So you're not going to be, you know, people aren't going to want to talk to turtles all the time. They want to talk to SpongeBob. By the way, Tom Kenny is an incredibly generous man and calls people. So that's the coolest thing about about this for me. You know, I mean, we all get to make a living. That's great. But the things that have nothing to do with action figures or ratings, it's a pure expression of uh, how important these characters are, whatever they are, Bart Simpson. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, also it sort of piggybacking on that, is that what I, I don't think any of us were prepared for when we started the series so long ago was the impact that it would have on so many people. And, you know, we started getting the letters and reading the letters at, the, at our sessions and just going, holy cow, really? I mean, this means that much to so many people. And yet, the, the, the general population watching the cartoon wouldn't ever know these individual stories, you know, what was going on. But then, you know, and especially with the internet, you know, now, just the, the, the stories and the stories and the stories that you hear from kids who grew up with it and who are now adults and just, up to us and say, you have no idea what you guys meant to us and what you're showing it to us, what your character meant. It taught me to, you know, whatever. And uh, to me, that's the most underappreciated because it's just not, it's not widely known. It's, it, 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 that's exactly right. I, I wouldn't call it underappreciated, but it's probably the least understood aspect of, of what we did. And when you talk to people that weren't fans yeah. of the show, 
yeah, they get that it was funny and they get that it was popular, but I had no idea that we were having an impact until I met the first fan that I ever met, who was a gentleman named Ryan Jean. Woo! And Ryan, um, as some of you who know Ryan know, has, has cerebral palsy. And he started to contact me about turtles and the impact that turtles had made on him personally, on his life. And my first thought was, how is that possible? You know, it's a cartoon. But the more you think about Turtles, it does stand for something. There's a moral compass to the show. And I think that a lot of people really did take some life lessons from that show. And I think if you try to explain that to people that never saw the Turtles, they wouldn't get that. So if we want to call it underappreciated, maybe. But I think, as I said, I think it's the least understood aspect. Hey, I, and I have to say that you know, Barry says if you try to explain that to people who, you know, haven't really seen the show or don't get the show, that's one thing. But I have to say that it honestly never really occurred to me that when either. we were doing the show that it would have this kind of impact until I started hearing these stories and going, holy cow, I never even thought about that. Overwhelming. Really. All right, folks. Big round of applause for the turtle, please. <laughs> There was a lot of topics <laughs> that were brought up in that interview, but we're going to save those for the next episode. Okay. Uh, I want to continue on with the rest of this day or else we're going to be here <laughs> for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> I just, all right. I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed, Ryan. You didn't ask, you didn't ask two questions that I would have asked right <laughs> off the bat. But I did ask one question and they did kind of have to change it. <laughs> <laughs> because they couldn't really get a good answer. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. All right. So, after the Q&A, the original plan was to see the new Turtle Power Pool Party. But, as you could hear, the Florida weather did what Florida weather does, and it started thunderstorms. Just crazy, crazy thunderstorms. Right. So they decided to do a smaller version of the show inside the studio we were actually in at that time instead. But they needed a little time to set up. And uh, so while we left, we actually got to tour the new Nick Turtles themed suite. So they've only got like one or two of them right now. Uh, they're going to be converting more of them over to be Nick Turtles themed suites. And really quickly, I will describe what it is. So a normal suite is like a living room, a bathroom, a kid's room, and a bedroom. Now, the only thing that's themed in the entire suite is just the kid's room. Of course, that's in contrast to, say, like the art of animation where the entire room is themed. Um, and I will say... That, unfortunately, um, the only theming that's really done in the kids' room is, like, a big vinyl graphic that covers up an entire wall. Just one wall. Mm. So I was looking for a little bit more. And I, from talking with everybody else, I think everybody else was looking for a little bit more theming. Um, because if you, seriously, if you paint over that wall, it's, there's no theme. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we headed back, headed back to the studio. The pool party started uh, as soon as we got in. Um, well, the show started <laughs> because there was no pool. Um, the, the Nick Turtles came out on stage with April and a bunch of dancers. Um, they started doing like a little dance party thing. They all had like a choreographed dance themselves for, at first. And then they invited all the kids up on stage uh, to dance with them. 
uh, all the turtles did their own like little dance move one at a time then the kids would mimic the dance and everything the best though listen you're gonna love this darby uh, right. was that when april started doing her dance donnie was in the back and just froze and just started like doing googly eyes <laughs> <laughs> at April from the back of the stage he like oh, he had Donnie. his like hands up to his face and it was just like oh my my you're breaking my heart I just love her so much uh, it was really good and of course you know they can't talk but whoever was inside the costume did a really good job nice. uh, you you know you could totally get it that is Donnie like, taller he... than you um you know what I can check the photos let's see yes we get it you have photos jerk <laughs> let's see here from said photos i am i am taller than donnie by how much though um I was gonna say, yeah, the top like of his head three. the top of his head goes to where my eyes are that's a very tall turtle. I wonder if he scares any little kids when they when the, he sees, you know, he goes up to them. I don't know. So anyway, Donnie's googly so eyes. So Donnie's over. googly eyes, he's in the back. And then actually one of the other dancers had to go over to him and kind of be like, <whistles> wake up. <laughs> nice. Um, and then, you know, everything kind of just continued on from there. But like they didn't stop the show or anything. Like it was just kind of going on in the background. So that was the cool. That was the cool thing. Okay. Um, you know what? Actually, I got some audio from the dance party, pool party. Uh, let's play that right now.
to your seats because I think it's time for the turtles to head back to the sewers. So, on the count of three, let's have a here. Everybody say, bye turtles! One, two, three! Bye turtles! Bye, bye, bye turtles! Bye, guys! Thanks for joining us! So, here's where it all went down. After the dance party, the press was able to do some interviews with the actors. Some of the press. Uh, the media coordinator, again, very helpful with getting me, the Turtle Power Podcast representative, uh, some one-on-one -on -one time to speak with the Turtles. Nice. Um, and, you know, coordinating with their handler, Jeff. Um, so helpful. Um, <laughs> it was, we were kind of at the bottom of the list, though. <laughs> um, who was ahead of us besides Michelle Ivy? Like, who would be ahead? No, of us? Michelle actually didn't even do one. Um, I mean, she's met him so many times; it wasn't even like a thing. Right. So it was a lot of like, like even like Bright House was there. Um, Inside the Magic. Oh, Bright House. Ugh. So yeah, I mean, there's some big news outlets there. So, um, yeah, they got you know preferential treatment because they were doing video and everything too. So. She was like, okay, um, I'm going to get camera. you up there. I, like, how – do you only need, like, a minute or two? And I was like, uh, I, yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> like, I'm like, a minute or two? Come on. Um, well, then there's so... only two questions you need to ask in a minute or two. <laughs> well, so I'm second to last to go up. But finally it was my time to shine. And, and... – Here's the results. No matter how they toss the guys, me and you are going to be. The only one for me is you, and you for me. So happy to care. I'm sorry. I, no, I didn't it was a good question. question. It was a great ah. question, actually. Um, uh, so, uh, you, no, you're totally right. Hey, so the van is busted again. Yeah. <laughs> it's driving <laughs> through snow, dude. Life imitates art. Whoa. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. you guys, I, I should say I am here with Rob Paulson, uh, Cam Clark, Townsend Coleman, and Barry Golden. So, when I walked in. Yes. Yeah. Um, you, you had it just right. You know, I'm. I'm in the wheelhouse, right? Totally, man. Um, you are. Because, you know, there are, there are those few that were lucky enough to, to find the comics first. Uh, but for the most of us, it, oh, yeah. was, it, was, it was you guys. Now, how old guys. were you when you, when you became? So first it, de started it debuted in 87, 87 so yeah. I was five. Me too. And so you caught, you caught it <laughs> right in the very beginning. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, very good I mean, place to start. Yeah. 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 So uh, <laughs> it, it, is, it, is, it is, you know, you guys deserve a lot of uh, a lot of notoriety and a lot of respect for well, what you Well, thank you, buddy. Did, so. That's really Thanks. cool. And I uh, really appreciate you coming here. And, uh, it is a pleasure. Awesome. It's a pleasure. Uh, I, I need, like, you know, we've all been saying, and it, it starts to sound, we hope it doesn't sound hackneyed, but it's, it, it, it is not meant to be. We're, we, we are so enjoying this renaissance and um, man when you're an actor and you're lucky enough to make a living 
that's kind of cool when you get a, a crack at something that comes back, like Cammy said, 25 years later, and people are arguably as excited for nostalgic reasons, new children being imp- it's the it's well, the and there's an extra today. benefit in that. We're now so connected. We only just started Isn't doing this, yes. this stuff for the Fab Four. Yeah. And we're just having this renaissance of our own. Yeah. We're well, playing you know, together. You go out to we the stores. Really you, you, you go out to the stores and, like, for adult stuff, you can't really find that much Nick Turtle stuff. It's all you guys. It's, yeah. all, it's the original. Sweet. You know, you're right. That's true. That's it, true. It, People, it, the, the, and if you go into any of the, you know, Hot Topic or any of the t-shirt yeah. places, uh, yeah. Spencer's Gifts and the malls around the country, for, Ninja Turtle stuff sells like crazy. I, I know, isn't it? Retro nuts. turtle yeah. stuff. It's yeah, man, it's absolutely. it's nuts. All these years later, and it is a and, a, and a what's joy. our cut? Okay. Zip, <laughs> zippity doo dah. <laughs> As they say That's across, across the, the street. street. That's a yeah, right. <laughs> the happiest place on earth. No, but but you know what? But honest to God, I, I, and you were the you know you asked that that really pertinent and poignant question uh, earlier about you know what what about, and I'm paraphrasing a bit, but what it was about the show that was. You know, maybe not quite so noted about uh, with with respect to the public, and and it is things like that. It is the things that are that are the intangibles. You know, that where people go, oh my God. I mean, I'm a golf nut. I don't care where I'm playing golf. When the subject comes up about what do you do for a living? Well, you know, I'm an actor. Oh, really? Anything I know? Well, if you've had a TV for the last 30 years, probably <laughs> something. But when it comes around to Ninja Turtles, they freak yeah. out. Yeah. And and everybody, it, you know, you fly into a major city like Orlando, and you look up, you look over the, the the skyline, and everybody that is is in every residence will have heard of Ninja Turtles. That's right. They may not be a fan, but even people, you they know, on it. some uh, travelogue show will say. We're here on the Galapagos Islands with the turtles, not the ninja variety. <laughs> but that's exactly, yeah. but they know it. Yeah. I crazy. had a layover in uh, 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 Dallas getting here, and I'm chatting with a guy. And, oh, what do you do? I do this as a, uh, well, I do voices. Like, what is it? Uh, ninja turtles. Can I get a selfie? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> selfie. Just, just like that. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And, yeah. And, and so they're really, truly, Ryan, there's no way to, to quantify that, man. This is a cool thing that we're involved in. It is a total labor of love. I work with people that I would choose to be my friends. We've been friends for, you know, just that alone. Well, you're a young man, but when you have somebody whom you, who has been in your life and friends, even if you lose touch, but you know they're around. Right. Well, we're, let me think about this. No, choose you up, for yeah. friends. We get to be, Ooh, uh, yeah. when, you, when you have um, people that you're your friends for a quarter of a century, present company not necessarily included. <laughs> <laughs> it is such a joy. It really is. We're, we're so lucky on so yeah, many levels. Well, and we and we understand it. We're we're Good. very cognizant Good. of how fortunate we are. The the you know the thing you guys were talking about too. I think is you know the the aspects of the turtles where it, it talks to people. I think a lot of it is honor. You know the whole I think line. You're right. the whole line turtles that's fight right. with honor. Turtles fight with honor. Yes, what Cammy used to say. Turtles yeah. fight with honor. So and, and it is it's about sticking up for your friends and yeah. and and doing the right. Barry said it earlier. There's a moral compass to the show. Yes, yeah. that's that's what I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. it's a fascinating mix in a way because. Because you know you you've had the moral honor shows mm-hmm. before, but they're not turtles because turtles is just so free and crazy. And you're, what you're saying to people is you can be crazy yeah. and you can have fun and you can eat pizza and you don't have to be serious in life. Right. But you also can follow, you know, and the straight and narrow. A, 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 a yeah. line and be a virtuous human being. Yeah. And, well, that, that, and, and need to be. Yeah. And goodness you know. goodness rules. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And that's pizza right. develops good character skills. Yes. yes. I, think that's, I think does. that's true. Absolutely Cammy does. owns a half a dozen Domino's night. franchises. Yeah. That's oh. why he wants to. <laughs> 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 Took his turtle money and bought a pile of pizza parlors. So. <laughs> it's not a bad investment. Not a bad yeah. investment. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Ryan. you. Enjoy thank Florida. You. Pleasure, yeah. man. Enjoy, uh, enjoy Orlando. We're enjoying Thanks the so rain much. and We're the thunder. Yes. Yeah. Thanks enjoy. for doing your podcast and keeping the yeah. dream alive, well, man. Yes. Yeah, no, appreciate it's, it. It's one little bit of turtle fandom. So. Oh, it's yeah. a big deal. Thank Thanks, you, man. Guys. Thank right. you. Appreciate right. it. Right. We'll see you. Go Take Green care. Machine. Yeah, buddy. Ryan, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So that was it. Um, you know, I don't know if you could tell there. I started to get a little choked up at one point. I didn't even expect that to happen. So, the um, singing part, you mean? Th- no. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I don't. It, to me, it sounds like they're just not having any fun whatsoever. No, it, it's like a bunch of school kids you know, that haven't seen each other in years. Like, well, but 
it's well, I mean, you know like why they're the... singing that song. Uh, why? Well, don't you know who sings that song? Um, I don't remember. Who is it? The, the Turtles. <laughs> like, the group was the turtles the, the, wow i, I should have picked up on that it <laughs> at the time i will you know <laughs> i was kind of freaking out so <laughs> um but uh you know after the interview took off to the lobby uh Don't you know, ask michelle what I you to ask, Brian. what's up you still didn't ask them what I wanted you to ask them. Uh, what was that? Two things. One, like I said, you only needed two minutes. One, when are they coming on our show? <laughs> They're just on our show. No, but I mean, when are they <laughs> coming on to like be on? And okay. two, and two, and I'm sure Alex would agree. Alex, who isn't here, I think he would agree. Where the hell were you during Turtles Forever? Well, there. What happened? Yeah. I, you know, I didn't want to get into anything too crazy like that. Maybe if we get him on, I am a if we get him on, than you. I mean, so you heard him talk about his new project that he's playing Leonardo again. So, just hey, more on that, forever. more on that in the next in the next episode. But um, headed off to the lobby, met some more TMNT fans up there. Um, you know, we chatted about all TMNT happenings. <laughs> of course, the movie came up. Um, there was actually another 2 p.m. show there at the resort, uh, included a showing of the 87 series, um, uh, followed by a Q&A with the actors and autographs. Um, after, uh, I was up, I didn't get to go to it though. Um, I was up in the lobby and then I headed back to the mall and actually ran into some more TMNT fans there who were at that 2 p.m. show. And they were actually gracious enough to talk about their experience. So let's go to that interview right now. All right, so in our continuing coverage of the retro weekend here at uh, the Nickelodeon Suites Resort, uh, we've got a couple of fans here. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Alex. My name is Freddie. And uh, they just got out of the, the 2 o'clock show. Uh, tell us about it. Tell us what happened. It was awesome. They showed a retro screening episode. And it was the episode I was actually hoping for, the first episode ever. So Turtle the very tracks. first episode Turtle of the tracks. entire series. All right. First yeah. episode ever. All right. My favorite episode. So for me, I was already like, oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> so I uh, got to watch that episode. Then uh, they held a little question and answer session yeah, to introduce everyone. Yeah. So uh, all the actors were there for the Q&A? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Rob, awesome. Barry, uh, Thompson, and Cam. Cam. So uh, did you guys ask any questions? Uh, no, we're, I want to reserve for yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, like, okay. Yes, I'm, we'll be here tomorrow. I was I was trying to get a feel what kind of question they were asking because yeah. I, I, I didn't know if they wanted to you know, mention were like Rob, you know, if he, that he's Donnie in the current cartoon. Oh, uh, they, like they will so. talk about everything yeah oh so. i got the feel for it now yeah. so <laughs> but you know they asked uh Let's probably go back tonight and prepare some good questions for them yeah yeah, yeah. They, they, you know they asked a lot of questions were more you know how you got into voice acting yeah. and yeah stuff like that yeah but, uh, i, I want to think of more some more turtle centric questions yeah i st- i stumped them earlier uh where i asked what was the most underappreciated aspect of the turtles yeah. and they kind of change the question a little bit into something that they they could answer it was it kind of something a little bit on that one but um but you got i see you got uh, you got all their autographs here oh yeah got some autographs got to take pictures. uh individual pictures with them oh fantastic yep. yeah. so yeah. it's all all the actors and everything again yes yep oh, so that's we, awesome. got, we got to take pictures with them should you know it was a tom it's an honor to meet you you know i've met rob a few times but the other cons, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Con, yeah, yeah. The local cons. The Mega Con. Mega, Mega Con. con yeah. I went Metro. to Dragon Con. Oh, Super yeah. Con. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's coming up. Super yeah. Con. Yeah. So you guys, you guys are locals here. Yep. So. Local. Yeah. Um, what, so you're gonna be here today, tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow too. Yep. Okay. So I know tomorrow what, they've got a special something going on tomorrow, tomorrow too. Yeah. So. Tomorrow they have a 
two more sessions, uh, question and answer sessions, retro screening episodes, and then 4.30, they're going to be doing uh, the group photo. You can do a group photo with all four behind a green screen, and they're going to have the logo. Oh, wow. And they'll be selling that if you want to uh, also, if you have any items yourself, you know, personal items, you could bring them right. in and yeah. have that autograph. Yeah, because that's the difference. That all the autographs... Uh, have to be on the, the designated right. yeah, today was the yeah. <laughs> Nickelodeon yeah, Suits Resort just, postcard right. deal, yeah. which I don't understand why they do that. I guess it's just so you, you, yeah. you try to sell it on eBay, then it's just like, well, everybody's yeah, selling the same right. thing on eBay. Yeah. It drops the price, maybe. That's yeah, right. that's what I'm thinking it was. Economics. You know. Um, and they're trying, you know, Nickelodeon's trying to get their name off. Like, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Self-promotion. That's true. Good yeah. point. That was, so you knew about it because you're actually an employee here. You knew about it because of him? Yeah, yeah. he told me. I, I knew about it because I just happened to look on the website. Okay. Yeah. And I was going to say, I was, because I had heard rumors about it working yeah. here a few months ago, but I've, I even had to go up and ask, like, hey, is this really going to happen? Yeah. Or yeah. I felt like, you know. The promotion that, for it wasn't really yeah. it, it, even our fans that like nobody knew about that this was happening. Yeah. So it was it, 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 it's an awesome event. I mean, how yeah. often do these guys get together? Oh, the second time in the last like thirty years. Yes. Or like, well, maybe not thirty, like twenty. Years. Yeah, so, but still for me, yeah. yeah, for me when I heard about, it, I'm like, there's like no way. Like, yeah. I, I remember I was like, I'm using my nights, <laughs> yeah, so free nights. I'm using them that weekend because that's like. You know, is that what like you said? You know, when yeah. do they get together like that? It's an awesome opportunity. So yeah, I was really stoked for that. Oh, very good. So, uh, is there anything else in particular that you're looking forward to? They, I know they're doing like a, a pool party thing. Yes, and we're gonna be going to that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But later today or tonight. Uh, yeah, six okay. forty-five. Well, depending with the weather. Right. Obviously. They were gonna do a um, preview show for us. That's what I heard. It, yeah. yeah. And, and it the just, rain just, just came, came down. So they yeah. did a little bit of a like a mini version in one of the studios over here. They had, they had all the dancers out there. Yeah, the show itself. I saw it. I saw the, like the first time they ever did it out in the pool deck. I got to see it. Oh, it cool. Pretty, yeah, it was pretty. They cool. did it during like the uh, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, or Memorial. Yep, yeah. they debuted it down. So it's pretty cool. They have like uh, actual the voice actors from the new show. They have like. Inter, yeah. you know, interplay like they're talking with the oh, uh, costumes there you go. and oh, nice. so it's pretty cool. That part's pretty cool about it. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, you'll get to check it out later. It's pretty That's awesome. Uh, hopefully. So, so, be, so we should mention that too because this is the retro weekend, but there are the Nick Turtles weekends throughout Turtles, the summer. Every second uh, weekend of. Um, each, month, of each month, yeah. throughout, every second weekend, so like of each September, month. October, November, yep. something like every, that. Every month, every wow. second weekend is through. always Turtle Weekend. So. Well, I'm gonna have to come back here and check out one of those weekends yeah. too. Yeah. So. Uh, hopefully, I'm hoping you know this goes successful, then they'll bring the voice actors of uh, the Turtle that Turtles. That would be awesome, right? That's, that's the next what, step, right? That's, yeah. that's, that's what I'm hoping. Step, right? Jason Biggs, yeah. Sean Astin. Right. I'm, I'm gonna have to suggest that to my buddy. Rob's upstairs. gonna have to come back. Yeah, yeah you know, I, <laughs> hey, Rob's Rob's a class. Oh, he's class amazing, act. isn't he? He's yeah. a class he's act. He's such, such a, cool a guy. friendly guy. Yeah. Like, hard to pe- uh, meet people like that. Yeah, know? absolutely. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining. Oh, thank joining you for, us. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, you know, big thanks out to those guys for coming on. Um, and that was it. Uh, that was the end of the event. Um, it was an amazing day. It went by so fast. Um, I definitely want to say thanks to the Nickelodeon Suites Resort. Uh, their amazing staff, including Deanna, Beth, and Wink. I want to say thanks to everyone I got to meet uh, from all the different news organizations there. But it doesn't end there. There are more chances for turtle awesomeness at the Nickelodeon Suites Resort all summer. Uh, The Nick Turtles are going to be there uh, June 27th through 29th, July 11th through 13th, and July 25th through 27th, August 8th through 10th, and 22nd through 24th, September 12th through 14th, October 10th through 12th, and November 7th through 9th. Now, if you want more information, you can go to nickhotel.com slash entertainment slash turtle takeover. Now, you may have just heard me mention August 8th through 10th. This is a important weekend. <laughs> just a little bit. 
Um, now, of course, there's a certain movie that's coming out. Um, in addition, they are doing a Guinness World Record attempt. Now, this is a popular thing that's going on now with different conventions and different events uh, with the Turtles is that they're trying to get the most people in one location dressed as the TMNT, right? And they're going to do this on August 9th. August 9th. That's a Saturday. Okay. That's the day after a certain movie comes out. Right, right. Hmm. Mm Hmm. Dibs on Donnie. Let's just say I had some conversations. More details to come, hopefully really soon. And that's all I can say. Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, I've got a ton of photos to share once again. Um, I also want to say a shout out to uh, Daxter Sullivan uh, over at the Geek Mom. I got to meet her and her husband and her son. Um, she uh, she actually had a copy of the TMNT Ultimate Visual History with her, and I didn't. <laughs> um but what was really cool is that she actually gave it to uh, Cam and Rob and so they could look through it. And I got some really cool photos of them checking it out. And I was able to send those photos over to Andrew uh, last night uh, for the big event today. So uh, hopefully he was able to share those out there in San Francisco. So that's going to do it for this <laughs> Um, different but very special episode um, we we did talk about a figure giveaway uh, this is one we're definitely going to have this for because I, I want everybody to know about this episode which which raft are you giving away no this one I'm going to give away the sailor mic because it was retro weekend I'm okay. going to give away the retro let me let me let me grab it here all right so we are giving away midshipman mike the salty sewer sailor i can't there, see me love nobody <laughs> but you for all my that's nah, in my head and it says right on it ahoy there mutie like oh. mutie like mutation <laughs> i i yeah i get it i get it you got it uh and it actually yeah. says brand new right on it so it's new yeah um, yeah brand new so we are giving this away if you want to see what it looks like google it <laughs> <laughs> google image it ship mikey um so this is how to enter it's going to be just like the last one we're going to send out a tweet it's going to say tweet. special report hashtag tmnt actors at at nick hotel RT for a chance to win a prize. And it says turtlepowerpodcast.com, hashtag Nick Turtles, hashtag Summer of Shell, at Yakko Pinky. I'm going to retweet the crap out of that. Good. Good. So, uh, unless I'm not we will select, then I just won't. We will select at random one of the hopefully thousands of retweets that we get for that tweet <laughs> the thousands of retweets from our 500 followers all right we're hoping <laughs> well that's why you get a retweet that's why you got to put yakko pinky in there because he's the one with the thousands of followers that's right <laughs> he retweeted a lot of our tweets this weekend so nice nice um official website turtlepowerpodcast.com follow us on twitter at tmnt podcast follow me at fig don pat Follow Alex at a Rodriguez two thousand five. Follow Darby at Darby T Patton. Uh, check out Darby's other show, Speed Force Radio. Where? Where Speed Force Radio? It's on YouTube. You just do a little search for uh, Speed Force Radio. Come across a video with a microphone with the flash symbol behind it. You know you're at the right spot. We'll have there a new episode go. up pretty soon. We're going to be talking about some of the movies that we've been seeing recently. We always talk Game of Thrones because we love it. And uh, just any really random nerdy subject that pops into our head, Comic-Con is going on this weekend. 
I believe my co-host is going to it. I unfortunately could not make it due to other scheduling Denver, conflicts, right? but we definitely will be getting some news from that pretty soon. Solid. Boston uh, Nova. Uh, X-Men, did you see it? Of course I did. So good. <sighs> Best X-Men movie Like us ever. on Facebook. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Turtle Power Podcast. Subscribe on YouTube. Watch all our old episodes on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Turtle Power Podcast. Old fashioned email, Turtle Power Podcast at gmail.com. And subscribe and rate us on iTunes. Um, oh, yeah. Be sure and, to follow Speed Force Radio if you like it at Speed Force Radio. Just got to throw that in there. Plug, plug, plug. Thank you. Good. Plug, 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 And next episode, we are going to have some iTunes review uh, reading. So uh, throw on your. <laughs> this is crap. <laughs> Why are these guys even doing this? These guys um, suck. <laughs> song of the show. Shout out to at Mitchie D, of course, Mitch Dyer from IGN. Uh, he sent out it's this tweet. Um, so you've heard us share some of the OC Remix songs on this show before. Uh, they are you know, a website that does uh, remixes of video game music. Well, they did an entire compilation. Uh, let, let me just read the, the quick the quick press release here. Overclock Remix does TMNT. Turtle, uh, TM, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shell Shock yes, is, the, <laughs> is the 47th free community arrangement album published over or published over by Overclocked Remix and arranges music from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 or Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Hyperstone Heist over on Genesis and Mega Drive. Produced in association with KNGI and Dwelling of Duels, Shell Shocked features 22 tracks arranged by 33 artists that re envision the original compositions of, oh, all kinds of names in Japanese that I do not know how to say, um, in rock and metal styles. So, you need to go over to Shell's Shocked dot OC Remix dot org of course link in the show notes we're gonna be picking off songs off of this the entire for like the next like i don't know year and a half uh first one is going to be heroes in a half shell it's arranged by alan grant and the velociraptors of course this is from the original teenage mutant ninja turtles 87 animated series darby Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Yeah, it's what I do. <laughs> Couldn't let you go this by yourself, you know. I appreciate it. And uh, we will be having well. Alex back on here next episode. So, for me and Darby, thank you so much for listening. <laughs> we'll talk to you next time. Bossa Nova. Great for cleaning banisters. Oh, dude, cat. <laughs> this is April O'Neill with Channel 6 News. We're here at what should be the site of the Statue of Liberty, but moments ago, minions of the Shredder appeared with unknown technology and quickly vanished along with the entire statue. Police have cordoned off the area and now we're in the spot.